Ready, set, roll. You're definitely going to need some elbow space for Dash to roll around and interact with Dot. We suggest you find some floor space so that there is no danger of Dash rolling off a table. Ouch, talk about a fall. Painters or masking tape will become your new best friend. Next to Dash and Dot, that is. You can use tape on the floor to outline a five by eight block grid. Make each block 30 centimeters square, since the robots move in centimeters. You can use the tape to outline mazes, obstacle courses, or start and finish lines too. The floor is your world, lots of possibilities. And don't forget to take time and bond with your robot. Give it a name. Just take a piece of painter's tape, write down the new name, and stick it on the robot. You can also rename the robots within the apps, which makes it easier to know which robot you are syncing up to. Great strategy if you have multiple robots in the same space. Lastly, where can you charge your robot safely out of the way of daily hustle and bustle? Consider using its original box or even a shoebox as a home. If you need to charge more than one, you can purchase a multi-USB charging unit. You can charge up to five robots at a time or a mix of robots and devices. If you need to store or transport your robots, you can purchase a storage tub or a cart, but we've seen lots of creative solutions as well. The robots fit nicely into rolling suitcases or augmented book or laptop carts. Wherever you live, you can make a perfect home for Dash and Dot.